Formula E's one-day race format makes the work and preparation teams do in between races even more vital, with simulators playing a fundamental role in that preparation. So we caught up with driver Nick De Vries and the Mercedes-Benz EQ team to find out more. It's certainly the most difficult car I've driven so far uh, for many reasons. The circuits are extremely challenging. We always face very unique situations, so you always need to be able to adapt very quickly to new circumstances, and I think that is very challenging. Uh, obviously, you try to uh, prepare yourselves best uh, possible. Uh, that's why we come here to prepare ourselves ahead of uh, a race weekend and go through all the possible scenarios and race conditions. There will always be things thrown at you which are unexpected and, and that's the key to uh, avoid mistakes. I think it really helps as a rookie to have that kind of preparation going into a weekend. When you get to the race weekend, all the preparation is done in the factory beforehand. It's basically you have any issues um, or mistakes at the race, it's really difficult to claw that back. The better prepared you are, you're going to be in a good position because you're just there executing. The real feel for the car is difficult to uh, replicate here. I remember going through shakedown and, and feeling the track conditions and I just couldn't believe it. I thought, what have I committed to? I mean, we were going uh, through in, in 110 kilowatts and the grip was like driving on ice and we only had like two free practice sessions before going into quali and, and then the track evolves but still there was only one real uh, line so as soon as you put your wheels outside you would you know risk to crash immediately. We have a certain process that we follow training driver for push laps and target laps this is the, the bulk of the, the early part of the race so obviously they need to understand how to not only just extract the lap time but to do it in an efficient manner so we'll go through different energy levels how to drive those So to me, the lift point in turn one is a bit early, but uh, 10 So you think we're, 11, yeah, okay. I mean, obviously you have uh, simulations which are a lot yeah, yeah. smarter. Yeah, no, but you're, you're thinking, no, from a pure just, racing point of view, yeah. you feel we're vulnerable into turn one. It was just something I noticed. Let's yeah. say... Uh, no, that's fine. Yeah. No, I mean, that's the whole point. But we basically uh, take a race day format and we try to kind of replicate that. Now, for me, in my first season, all the tracks are new, so we give me a little bit more time to learn the circuit and go through every uh, session and, and every possible scenario, especially in, in race conditions when you have to manage energy, potentially battery temperature in Chile, all the full course yellows, attack mode, fan boost, and things that, um, yeah, come across. We'll do quite a lot of mileage. Um, just to make sure that Nick is ready. Every time we do a race run, he'll come back, he'll look at the data with the engineers, he'll look at his own performance, he has a little bit of a think about it, jumps back in, drives it again, and every time we do that iteration, um, his performance improves and he gives us better feedback. For us, this is really important that way when he gets to the track, again, from simulator to track is always gonna be a little bit different, but he's done everything he can do to put himself in that position to be able to succeed. It was really in line with my lap time, so, as soon as I went down on lap time and going a bit quicker, that was also the point I started to overconsume a little bit. I think race two uh, was the perfect, perfect example of uh, a traditional Formula E race. I mean, uh, obviously this year they introduced the energy reduction for every minute we, we spent behind um, uh, the safety car or in the full course yellow, uh, and all those things, you know, you practice, but once you race and you're under pressure and then suddenly all those things become crucial, but at the same time you want to race too. So the key to use the simulator is uh, to use it as a tool to prepare me for all the possible scenarios we could face during a race, all the switches, all the handlings we need to do for a race, track learning, energy management. So. I think in, in Formula E, the simulator uh, preparation is very, uh, very important.